Hello and welcome to A VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika and this show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. Today, we're going to be talking about what DAW should you be using as a voiceover artist, okay? So which DAW should you be using as a voiceover artist? I feel like there is so much information out there and it can be really confusing because, you know, on, on top of everything, you know, these DAW companies, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation, okay, and it's what we use as voice actors uh, or any musician in general to record our voiceovers on or to record music on to, okay, it's what we use to record our voice uh, to, to um, save it and edit it and then basically format it and send to the our client. So uh, these are businesses too, though. So, you know, they're going to be promoting their software and saying it's better than the other and so forth. And you're going to have people who like one over the other. So I thought I'd just talk about uh, the four top DAWs right now that I feel um, are pretty prevalent in the voiceover industry and which one I like and, you know, which one I would recommend to you. So the first, or there, there's four DAW, big, big, uh, I think, um, DAWs that I see the majority of people using. There are so many other ones. There really are. But the four main ones, you have Adobe Audition, okay? You have Audacity, you have Studio One, and you have Reaper. Now, again, there's many. There's Pro Tools. There's... Um, uh, you think you've got, like, GarageBand and Twisted Wave, and you've got so many other ones out there. But the main ones, I think, are those four, okay? Um, so let's start with Audacity. Audacity is a free DAW, okay? You can go and download it right now. It's completely free, and it's not bad. I even have, I have a course on Audacity. I actually have a course, if you're trying to learn Audacity, uh, Adobe Audition, or Studio One. I don't have a course yet on Reaper, but uh, it should be coming soon. But I, on for Audacity, I like it. It's free. It's easy to use when you're just recording something onto it. But I find that Audacity, as you go deeper into it and you try to edit, add music, do more, like dub, um, time sync, because it's open source, a lot of it, and, and it's... Um, uh, even though it's, it is being upgraded a lot, you know, it's not as robust as some of these other platforms that you have to pay for. But I find that if you get something like plugins, like Isotope, okay, uh, RX9 or 10, I think it's come out, and you use those audio editors, meaning you record in Audacity, then you take that recording file, put it in the Isotope editor, all right, the RX9 or 10 editor, and then edit your work, you know, by voice to noise and multi click and using all that, and then clean it up and then put it back into Audacity and save the file how you want to save it. You know, you could get away with using Audacity, um, you know, but again, it's still going to not be, in my opinion, as robust um, and user friendly as some of the other platforms. Now, the next one uh, I want to talk about is Studio One. I think Studio One, um, in, a, in a VO's Journey Elite Academy, we have Don Barnes, who's one of our teachers, is a um, tech guru, and he every Tuesday evening he, he has his class, and you know he, he, he talks about tech, and Studio One is kind of his baby, and um, it's a nice, it's a great platform, good DAW platform. Um, you know, it goes very well hand in hand with Isotope. And um, I like it. It's like a, a track basis where it's set up with tracks and there's uh, it's template heavy, meaning like you can create your own templates on there very easily. You know, whether you're doing a character voice, whether you're doing audio book, whether you're doing a, a video narration, you know, some, you know, it's, it, it's a nice if you can set it up and you can create what you want. You know, it's actually a very good DAW um, it's not my favorite, but it is another one out there. The cost is not too bad. The cost is not too bad. You get a free trial with it, and then I think it's a one-time fee, which is very nice. Now, a big competitor to Studio One that has really blown up recently is Reaper. And that's because it's a very inexpensive way, and it's very user-friendly. Again, it's another, 
It's another system that's is similar to Studio One in the fact that it's set up like tracks, just like Audacity. And you can um, save and create your own settings within each one of those tracks. So as you record something, it, you're, it's being edited, it's being mastered while you're recording, which is really nice. Same, it's a Studio One uh, Reaper because you know they're, they're very similar because it, it it limits or it lessens your time that you're actually doing work. So that's really nice, and it's got a really inexpensive cost to it as well. Okay, um, a lot of these are under a hundred dollars. However, they re they they want you to buy the professional versions, which are usually you know, a couple hundred dollars or more, but a lot of people tend to use the, they don't claim they're the professional versions. You know what I mean? They just, they kind of pay the one fee and then don't upgrade, even though they should technically, they don't and nothing happens to you if you don't. But, but anyway, so that's, but, but they're all one-time fees, which moves me on to the last one, which is Adobe Audition, which is um, one that I use. And I think, so here's the thing. I think whatever DAW you start with and you get comfortable with or whatever, I, I think you're biased towards it. I like Adobe Audition, but that's because that's the that's the platform I started with. Uh, when I was a teacher, I, I had Adobe CC, the suite, because I, I, you know, I had it as a teacher when I was uh, uh, teaching. And I didn't even know about Adobe Audition until I started my voiceover career in 2017. And then from there, I learned it. And it's become, you know, second nature to me. You know, like I said, I have a course on Adobe Audition as well. I love it. There's um, a way for you to go from mono to track based on Adobe Audition. And you can set up Adobe Audition the same way too with racks and everything. Uh, I just enjoy Adobe Audition for the usability. To me, it feels uh, more user friendly uh, and easier. But some people have been having issues with it as well. Uh, when it comes to integrating with some newer Mac stuff, I've seen some people having issues. So um, now the downside to Adobe Audition for a lot of people is that it is a monthly fee. It's like $21, $22 a month. And if, so, I mean, you know, after a year, you know, it's $240 a year. However, that you do get unlimited upgrades. So it always upgrades when the new versions come out, upgrade. Now with Studio One, Reaper, you know, you pay up front and then you, you know, if you de decide to upgrade, you got to pay that upgrade. Um, so, I mean, it, it is a dip, you know, a lot of people don't like the monthly fee and I don't blame them. But the way I look at it is I love it so much. It's the, the cornerstone of my business and me personally, um, it's, it's like I said, become second nature. So I couldn't imagine not using Adobe Audition, but I have taught myself how to use these other platforms. Um, I just like Adobe Audition the most because, again, it's what I started with. If I had started with Reaper or started with Studio One or started with Audacity, I might like those better. But, you know, I think I, I <clears throat> Adobe Audition is the one I like the most. So, listen, um, you know, you can find Adobe Audition through Adobe. You know, you just go to adobe.com. You go to Reaper for Reaper, Studio One. Audacity is free. It's the only free one out of all of them. Um, usually what people do is they start with Audacity and then they move up to, you know, Reaper, Studio One, or Adobe Audition, one of them. You want one that gives you good support or find people who can support you. So I think that's another good idea for the uh, Avio Journey Elite Academy because we've got people with all the DAWs, you know, who know all of them, who teach them as well and uh who can work with you with them if you're interested you know if you're struggling with them but anyways um listen i hope this video helped um and um de you know determining what one you should choose my recommendation is a lot of them offer free they offer free um uh trials you know try it out try reaper try studio one Try Audacity. Well, Audacity is free anyways. And try, you know, Adobe Audition. I'm not sure if Adobe Audition offers a free run, though. But, you know, try them out. Um, don't be afraid to buy one of the courses that I have because that's really going to help you walk through step by step by step on how to do it. And it's just really becoming familiar with 
the DAW is what it takes. So that takes time. So don't beat yourself up about it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, you know, I'll do, I'll put links in below to each one of them. So you can find, you can easily click on the link and go there. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Hit that like and subscribe button. Check out a VO's journey elite Academy. There'll be a link below. We'd love to have you, whether you're starting or growing your voiceover business. Uh, we're an amazing community, uh, that we teach live classes as well as, you know, um, coaching. We have some exciting things coming out of there uh, that I can't tell everybody about, but um, you know, there's, there's just a, it's a great place to be. So we'd love to have you. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.